Hi guys, my name's Borja and I am the owner of Cleopatra's Beauty Line. I am the, you know, the founder, the creator, the formulator of everything Cleopatra's Beauty Line. I wanted to make this live video because I wanted to show those who don't know who I am, I wanted to show you the real me. And also I wanted to show you guys how I use my products and give you an idea of this is me. This is me without any makeup on. This is what I look like pretty much every day. I go to the store like this. Um, I used to always have to put a whole bunch of makeup on before I left the house because I was so embarrassed about my face, but now I don't care anymore. So I wanted to tell you how I got to that point and, um, the benefits of this product that I made and why it's just great for the skin. I'm a lot, I'm a part of a lot of groups of like, um, you know, the cystic acne groups that are online. And I listen to these very sad stories of these girls that have really bad acne on their face. And I try to give them pointers and advice and it just seems like nobody's really, I don't know. It, it, I don't know if they feel like they want to suffer for the rest of their lives. I don't know. But I just wanted to give you an idea. This is what I do. I make skincare products and I don't, um, just make skincare products to just send out to people so they can give me money <laughs> honestly i do it because i had problems of my own and i wanted to fix my face doesn't everybody want to have nice skin and be able to go out without having to wear makeup we all do but you got to be able to find the right stuff um even when i was a kid i've tried going to the doctors and they were giving me benzoyl peroxide to get rid of my cystic acne that i had in my face and that shit burnt and i stopped using it I tried a couple other things, but I didn't ever try all the millions of products that were out there because there's so many. And when you do try a few and they don't work, you kind of just like give up. So how I came about this is it just kind of led from one thing to another. Seven years ago, my husband, um, he's from Croatia and he was reading an article about what people are doing over in Europe with donkey milk. And once I first started reading about it, I was like, oh my God, people over here should be drinking this milk. It is so healthy for the, just internally, just to drink it. Um, seven years ago, there wasn't that much information out on it. And, but now it's just becoming so much more popular. More people are moving past the perception of where the milk actually comes from, the animal that it comes from and they are paying attention to the benefits they get from it. Um, donkey milk is so potent that research studies are finally starting to research over here that it might be the cure for the common cold. And honestly, I give it to my kids when they start getting the sniffles, when I start getting the sniffles, when my husband starts getting the sniffles, I will give him about a tablespoon or I actually thaw out since I keep my milk frozen, I thawed out like an ice cube of the milk and they drink it. And it usually takes about two days. They feel fantastic. They haven't gotten sick yet because of that. Um, you should also look up at the other benefits of the milk because I'm just going to touch on a very small part of the skincare benefits, but there's so much. And if I were to talk about all of it, I'd be talking your ear off forever. So first things first, first thing I started making, um, were my soaps. Now all my soaps, are organic. I only use organic oils and butters. I only use plant-based um, colorants in there. So you'll see like spinach or paprika for the coloring. The only plant-based that's non-plant-based that I use is activated charcoal. And then I only use essential oils. So every single soap is organic and what they consider what is natural. I don't know what natural is. But so my soaps are organic and you'll see they come in this lace bag. I also make lace bags that come in each one of the soaps. Every time you purchase soap, you get a new lace bag. The purpose of this bag is not just to look pretty, it's to use in the shower. So when you're in the shower, you use it to exfoliate your skin. Um, it's a great way to get rid of that nasty poof ball that people like to keep in their shower. And honestly, some of us keep up in way longer than we should, and it gets all like kind of big and stretched out. Well, just think about that piece of plastic that you're rubbing on your skin um, contains so much bacteria and if a lot of people have back acne as well, it'll just make your whole body worse. So just throw those away. Stop using those. Those things are nasty. This, every time you get a new bar of soap, you get a new bag and nothing goes to waste. Like I also include a little bag of potpourri. The potpourri that comes, 
is scented exactly the same as your soap. But if you get the unscented, obviously I'm not gonna scent the potpourri that comes with it. Um, once you're done with your soap, you take this bag and you let it dry and you add the potpourri inside. So say you like, the most popular one that sells for me is the bergamot and cinnamon, and that's the one I love. I love that one, it smells so good. So that one, you once it's dry, you add the bergamot cinnamon smell inside of it, and then it's cute because you get to carry it around, you know, put it in your car, put it in your sock drawer, wherever you want that smell at. Um, so this is what it looks like. And if you go under my Instagram account, you'll see like I have a picture where I have this plate, and on that plate I have different colors of my little potpourri bags because obviously I try all my soaps. So these are all, these smell really good. They're just, I don't know, and plus they look pretty. And I kind of want something that people can constantly just keep using, you know, so stuff doesn't kind of like go to waste. My phone keeps falling over here. So that's the first thing that I started to make was the soap. And then I kind of went on to, and honestly, I wasn't making this stuff for acne or for whatever. I was kind of just intrigued by the milk and the benefits that come from it. And since I couldn't like put it on the shelf for people to drink. I was trying to find different ways to do it. So this is how I came up with the soap. Well, then later I started wanting to make my own face cream. And I came up with my own face cream. And the tricky thing is, is that you have to have the right formulation for your, um, for your face cream for it to be properly, to work how it's supposed to work. Um, like I said before, I used to have bad cystic acne and it was all along my jawline. It was horrible, it was embarrassing, and it hurt like hell, and it sucks. So this I kind of formulated for that. It just helps get rid of the acne, but it also helps minimize fine lines and it reduces the oil. You want to reduce the oil that comes off your face. A lot of people, you know, they have what the combination skin, the oily skin, the dry skin. But you know what? Honestly, when we live up north, we have all types of skin over here because it changes as the season changes. Um, even somebody asked me, should I keep moisturizing in the summer? Yes. Do not stop moisturizing. You always want to keep a moisturizer around and always put one on. If you don't put one on, that's what ends up making your face break out more. But you have to have the right formulation. My formulation has the donkey milk. I include donkey milk in everything because it has the most vitamin C. It has 40 times the vitamin C compared to cows, which has zero, and goats only have 1%. Why do I know it has that much vitamin C and it has the most stable form of vitamin C? People don't know that, you know, women buy these $100, $200, however much money they spend on their little jars, and it has um, the vitamin C inside the jar. Well, every time you open up that jar, if it's not formulated properly, you are losing vitamin C to the air. I know it's crazy how that vitamin works, but if it's not stable, it's lost. So the cool thing about donkey milk, it has the most stable form of vitamin C. There's even a patent out there and it's on vitamin C, vitamin E, and ferulic acid because they found those three together actually make the vitamin stable. Well, donkey milk, has stable vitamin C and the only reason why I know that is because I did a little study on myself where um, I cut up an apple. Like if you ever packed your kids lunch and you want them to have apples for lunch but you know that if you cut it up it's going to turn brown by the time they try to eat it. So what you do is you add a little bit of lemon juice on it so it helps stop the oxidation and so by the time they have lunch you know they still got a pretty looking apple. Well what I did is I cut up an apple and I put one piece had lemon juice on it, another piece had, I dipped it in donkey milk, another piece had cow's milk, and the last piece I just left out to air. And every hour I went back and I took pictures of this just to see how fast it would start turning brown. Well, let me tell you, it was, the cow's milk didn't even last one hour. That stuff turned brown so fast. <laughs> the one out to air actually lasted a little bit longer than the cow's milk one did, but the donkey milk beat the lemon. And I mean, this was like even eight hours later. I'm like, when's this thing going to start browning? Like that's how much of a stable form of vitamin C is inside this milk. It's crazy. So even with the vitamin C, you get your B complex vitamins. A lot of people who work out don't realize that the reason why they have their bad acne is because they're lacking B complex vitamins. Donkey milk has that, but I actually add an extra vitamin in there, which is B3, which is part of the B complex. But donkey milk doesn't have enough of it. 
And I add this because research studies have proven that B3 is the one that shrinks the pores, controls oil, and minimizes fine lines. And let me tell you, I lost the greasiness off of my face because of that. So I know it works. So then also what's inside the dog milk, you have your omegas. Omegas, which are great for your skin. There's only the two kinds, which is I think three and six. So the other thing is I had to write this down so I didn't forget. Donkey milk um, contains the most amino acids compared to any other mammal out there. And this is, I just found this out recently. Like I kept writing it down over and over again on my <laughs> notebooks because I have like stacks of notebooks of all the information and stuff that's inside donkey milk. And it never clicked and never dawned until I read this one article the other day or this research study this guy did, and he just reminded me of how many amino acids are inside this milk. So you all have your amino acids, and then you have your ceramides. They are your protein fat that help contain your natural moisture. Ceramides are a huge thing. And you also have, this is the crazy thing that I just found out the other day. So donkey milk contains 9.5% of free fatty acids compared to cows, sheep, goats, and human milk, which is, ranges from 0.7% to 1.5%. That's insane. So you think about the free fatty acids. So donkey milk contains the most amount of like the long chain polyunsaturated fatty acids. The long chain polysaturated unfatty acids that is very specific in killing the one bacteria. And this is something you would have to go to your dermatologist to see if you carry this gram positive bacteria. But I think this is the reason why I don't break out anymore is because donkey milk has been proven to kill Staphylococcus aureus. If I'm saying that right, if I'm not, sorry. It kills it within 15 to 30 minutes. And this research study literally gave me chills when I read it, you know, because a lot of people are going to the dermatologist. They're getting, um, you know, with those uh, antibiotics. Every time they're told, like, here, take the antibiotics for this acne. Take the antibiotics for that cystic acne. Well, we're becoming so drug resistant that it's hard for us to find anything to actually get rid of it. And donkey milk is the one thing that gets rid of it. And he did six, he had the blood auger plates of different types, and he had like six out. And out of these six, I mean, he made them hot. He made them cold. He put a little bit in this one, and he put so much in this one. But every single one, it was they all, it just killed it. 15 to 30 minutes. Now tell me that's not crazy. It was crazy for me. I'm like obsessive about this milk and what it can do for your skin. So I just had to mention. So I just wanted to show you guys how I use my products on my face. And it just another big thing that I'm about is making things easy because I don't want to wash my face at night. I want to go to bed. I'm exhausted and I want to go to sleep. So the best thing about this is that it just makes it easy to wash the face. And like another like pet peeve that I have is um, before just using regular soap on my face, whatever, now to wash my face and the water would drip down my arm. Oh, I don't know why. It drives me crazy. So this, I'm going to show you. I just wet the one end. So I wet the, wet the one end of the soap. And this is me at night because I cannot stand to have to take that long to wash my face and by the way it is soap so keep it away from your um eyes because obviously it'll burn easy done it exfoliates your face so nice like it took me a little bit to get used to it because it was kind of weird you know using this bag on my face but once you get used to it you can't live without it and the great thing about this bag is you hang it up so i'll just hang it up in my shower when i'm done so it dries it out nice and even and then i don't have to Worry about those like gunky little soap trays to clean. Um, so you could take a washcloth afterwards. You can wet the one end, wipe your face off, but I'm so lazy at night. I just take a dry washcloth <laughs> and I just wipe the soap off. That's it. Done. Wipe the soap off. And then obviously I put my face cream on. These are cute little bottles that I got. Um, everything comes in an airless pump bottle when it comes to creams. Because, you know, vitamins are tricky. They're tricky to work with. They're hard to stabilize with. And once um, you find a natural preservative, once you find a natural preservative, um, if this one that I found, um, even the chemists say, well, that one's tricky to formulate with. It'll make your product separate 
but I found a little trick and it's called putting it in an airless container. And I mean, there's a different way that you have to formulate it too for it to work, but it works wonders. And I can honestly tell you that this is 100% natural that I have in this little bottle. And so I only use organic um, oils as well in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you how I, I just do a little squirt. That's it. And just rub it on your face. The great thing about this is like, say you get like one little nasty pimple or something, you can literally extract that pimple and then you can put the stuff right on it. It's not going to make it worse. It will actually make it better. Hi, Stephanie. What did you write? I found one of my first money in storage. Oh, thanks, Stephanie. <laughs> so even my sister, like my sister, she was a big skeptic about even using any of my products before. And um, so I gave her my face cream because she's like, I need oil free and blah, blah, blah. Well, this is, this is still considered oil free because what they consider when they put oil free is anything that is minus um, mineral oil or soy oil. That's it. So this is it. I mean, even in the morning, if I get up, if I have to go out and put makeup on or something, <laughs> I owe you another one. So I'll definitely get you another one. Um, you know, get out of the shower, I put it on, and then I let it soak in for a few minutes, and then I put my makeup on. Um, one great compliment that I got from this one lady, she told me she can't live without the cream. She's like, because it makes her makeup go on so even. Um, so it's great for acne. It's great for getting rid of the fine lines and stuff. But honestly, like I started this because I didn't have, you know, in mind to get rid of acne. It just kind of happened that way. And I'm glad it did. And I hope that me making this video can help other women find this product and try it because I'm, this is me. This is who I am. This is what I love to do. It's my passion. And you can ask anybody around me. I can talk somebody's ear off for days about <laughs> everything and the things that I find. So, I mean, the one best thing, and I think this is what pushed me even more to want to do this live video, is how the donkey milk killed that bacteria. And that um, is a huge thing for even people who suffer from eczema. Because um, I was working on a formula for eczema. And that kind of came across because one out of four people carry that bacteria on the skin, the staphylococcus, whatever. They carry that bacteria on their skin. Um, it colonizes it. For some people, it's dormant. For some people, you know, it wakes up. It breaks out as eczema, breaks out as acne. So a lot of people are, seem like they're putting stuff on their skin to, I don't know, kind of make the bacteria dormant when you need to kill it. You need to kill that bacteria, get it off your skin. And once you kill it and get it off, then you're not going to be worried about breaking out or I'm hoping that I can honestly help people with their eczema problems because good Lord, man, so many people are having a hard time with that. But one thing that I know that it has worked for me and I'm trying to get other people to try this stuff because it honestly, it, there's so much research behind it that it shows that it works. I mean, even basic, you know, research on the, the fatty acids, there's even a big company that is trying to take those polyunsaturated fatty acids and they're combining them to make their own acne line product when donkey milk contains it all by itself naturally. There's no need to mess with it, to alter it. It's in there naturally. And I don't know. I mean, I can go on and on like forever, but I'm going to stop there and hope that you guys listen to this message and come find my products. And honestly, if you have any questions, you want to know my research studies that I found and that I've read up, I'm more than glad to send them to you. You can call me on the phone. You can send me a message. I'm here to listen and I'm only here to help. So thanks for taking the time to listen. You guys have a good one.